were correct in the last, uh, I think, 14 years now we've been predicting terror attacks correctly. Every single we, one. We've yeah. never been wrong, but that doesn't mean that we're always right. You know, we So the Psychic Twins are going to give us their 2014 predictions on uh, Beyond the Gate radio, uh, radio podcast. Uh, on January the 6th, 2014. So this is very exciting. Um, I have been listening to some of their other predictions from other years. I've listened to their 2013 predictions and I also listened to their uh, predictions for the new millennium, which was uh, transmitted in uh, 1999. And so I've got a bit of an inkling about um, how their predictions work. So I thought it might be fun if I made some predictions about what they're going to predict on their Beyond the Gate radio program. So this is before they have uh, transmitted their 2014 predictions. And I'm going to predict what they're going to predict. So this will be fun. Um, so um, they're going to make some predictions about the economy. Um, there'll be sort of general sort of predictions about the economy, the sort of predictions that any sort of economic pundit could make. Yeah, they will predict a stock market adjustment of some sort um, in the upcoming year. They may not even say whether it's a crash or a, or a rise, but they'll talk about some adjustment. Um, they will predict uh, some more school shootings, either in a general sense, or they will name five or six, or perhaps uh, four or seven uh, specific states or, or major cities where school shootings will occur. Um, they won't give any specific details about these school shootings, except they'll give a time frame of uh, the next year or so. Um, they will also fail to point out that um, if you look at the statistics on school shootings over the last 12 years, 10 out of those 12 years there's been at least one school shooting in the US. So, but they'll fail to point out that statistic. Um, they will predict more terrorist activity and they will name perhaps five or six uh, states or major cities or perhaps four or seven major cities where these terrorist attacks will occur. Um, they won't offer any more details on these terrorist attacks except the sort of time frame of in the next year or so. Um, they will probably revise history on uh, some previous year's prediction at some point to make it appear that uh, one of their misses in their previous year's uh, predictions was in fact a hit. Um, for example, they might try and suggest that an earthquake in Wellington, New Zealand was in fact near Christchurch, New Zealand, when in fact those two places are completely different. Um, and they might do this just so they can show that their that uh, their prediction of an earthquake in Christchurch in uh, New Zealand for 2013 uh, is actually has actually come true. Um, they're going to predict earthquakes in a number of different countries. Um, they're going to call them major earthquakes or large earthquakes or significant earthquakes, um, but they're not going to define what they mean by major, large, or significant. Um, the countries they list will nearly all be uh, countries or regions that are highly seismically active, which you could check uh, using the Significant Earthquakes Archive of the US Geological Survey, uh, which is earthquake.usgs.gov. Um, they may mention one or two areas that do not have frequent earthquakes, but if you uh, check back at the end of 2014 to see whether these regions did have a major earthquake, you're probably going to find they didn't. Um, again, they're not going to give any details about the time uh, of these earthquakes, except uh, they're going to say it's going to be in the next year or so. Um, they're going to predict major storm activity uh, in regions of the country where there's always major storm activity. So they're going to predict, you know, 
tornadoes in the Midwest in Tornado Alley, and they're going to predict hurricanes on the uh, the east coast of the U.S. and this and uh, around the Florida region. Um, and uh, yep, yeah, so and they're not going to give any timings about when these occur, except they're going to say in the next year or so. Um, now they're going to. Um, predict major medical breakthroughs in a large number of medical fields. Now, almost all of these medical medical fields they mention will be fields where there are massive amounts of uh, research going on around the world uh, every year. Um, thousands of researchers are going to be researching on these medical fields. They're going to be major uh, research fields. Um, they'll offer up time frames in the next year or so for these breakthroughs to occur. Um, and they're probably also going to review their 2013 predictions about uh, medical breakthroughs. And they're going to try and convince you that, uh, that they are psychic because researchers that uh, are working in major medical research fields uh, publish their results and publicize these results in the media. So they're going to expect us to believe they're psychic just because um, you know, people that are studying in major medical fields publish results and publicize them. Um, they also may mention research in apparently obscure medical fields um, but if you were to Google those medical fields, you may find that um, that researcher had, in a previous year or so, um, got some publicity. So, yeah, that, they, may, they may go down that avenue as well. Um, they will make vague predictions about celebrity scandals and celebrity deaths, and they'll review their 2013 predictions and expect us to be amazed that the media likes to stir up uh, scandals, and they also expect us to be amazed about the fact that uh, celebrities die. Um, there's a big list of things they won't mention. They won't mention that the stock market crash they predicted for March and April in 2013 did not happen. They won't mention that housing foreclosures actually declined in 2013 rather than increase as they had uh, predicted. If you want to see about that, you can uh, look up foreclosure trends on the uh, realtytrack.com website. Um, they will not mention that US gas prices were actually fairly stable between about $3.25 and $3.75 during the, uh, 2013, um, whereas they would predicted that gas prices would be very, very high in 2013. They'd get very, very high. Um, they will not mention that President Obama's proposed assault weapon ban failed on a Senate vote of 40 to 60 on April 17th, 2013, when they had predicted that an assault weapon ban would actually be passed in the US. They won't, they won't mention that the, the internet didn't nearly shut down completely, as they had predicted. Um, um, so there are a lot of things they, uh, they won't mention. Um, and last few things, they will mention a book that they've written, and they will probably mention that they predicted 9-11. Anyway, that is my predictions for 2014, my prediction of the Psychic Twins predictions. So we'll be able to check back in after uh, January the 6th, 2014, to see how I went with my Psychic predictions. Um, you can tune in on uh, Blog Talk, no, sorry, Beyond the Gate Radio on uh, blogtalkradio.com. Um, to uh, hear the Twins 2014 predictions. So we might do a review of my predictions at some point on YouTube. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see. Okay.